Hello everyone, my name is Paul, I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, we're an Autodesk reseller. And in this blog I want to have a look at Revit 2023 and materials while we, or when we save them. We work with a, a co-authored model in the cloud. So just to give you some background to this model, if you have a look at my, at our hub, we are working with one of the sort of older Autodesk uh, sample files and here we can see it's called Kobe 2023 and within that we've got our collaboration folder for those of you that know the technology you will have Collaborate Pro and we can synchronize files to the cloud and we can be anywhere in the world and we can work together as a team in this case the team is called Architect within the Architect folder we've included and a, a library called images and within those images we've uploaded a, a square parquet floor file that's going to help us to find a material within Revit so step number one you, you would find somewhere on the website that you can download this from I usually use SketchUp Texture Club although there's other ones as well some of you use uh, Pinterest and so on but there's some wonderful images over and above what you can use within Revit itself and that is the material that will be used with the finished um, item and as a demonstration I'm, I'm going to put that little floor up here there we go all right now at the top of the screen you'll see I'm signed into my uh, normal pool at mgfx.ta email and then what I've done is I've team view in with another computer with the trading account that we use ATCCT1 so and I've given them permission on the model to be able to collaborate or co-author with me so consider this to be a second person ATC on the team viewed machine that's a second person and just like myself, on my own computer, or on the computer I'm working on, they've got, through the desktop connector, synchronized down into their folder. Now it's quite interesting when you look at this, if you look at this, the first part of the file name over there is C Drive Users Training 1. And if you compare that to your, or to the other computer, we will find it's C Drive Users Paul S. And so it's, it's, it's totally different usernames, the paths are different, everything is different at the beginning of the file name. And traditionally, it wouldn't work if we tried to create a custom material and apply it to some of the floor that we're going to apply to this model now. So that's the background to the situation. If you don't understand what's going on at the moment, then just watch and take away from this video that you can with Revit 2023 and Cloud and all of this Cloud you can now do custom materials which is an improvement to what it was before so let me quickly put a floor down there It's just representative. Right, so there's some more of the floor finish. I'm going to edit that, duplicate that. And I'm going to give it some more other finish. Herring bone. Is going to be the name of the floor. And then the structure. Where I get the finish. This is where I will add a new material.
I'm going to duplicate material and assets and call it ceramic tile herringbone I'm going to copy that name for that material on the assets so it's not the greatest of, uh, of finishes so let's swap this out with an asset the one that I usually use as a beginning for tiles is parquet Okay, brown will do. And then we can see that they're referencing an image. So I'm just going to duplicate this asset, give it the name that I copied to sort of go with the name of the material. I find that the easiest to reference it. Obviously, the rest of the information one would have to fill in. And then on the where it says image, I'm going to browse to the all of this docs folder to the hub that I'm working in. There's our Kobe 2023 project files, collaborate, architect, going into images, and I'm going to use that image. I can maybe use a lighter color over there. Somewhere there. Let's have a quick look at the rest of the things that I've got. It's obviously not self-illuminating the bump we haven't got. So it's just an image. And on the graphics I'm going to use the render appearance. So everything's good. And that's going to be the ceramic tile herringbone that I'd like. I'm going to apply that and say OK. And OK. Then I'm going to switch out into a realistic view. And then we can see how the image came through. Now I can scale that image and make that look a bit bigger and so on. That's materials management. That's pretty straightforward. Now let's investigate. When I synchronize my file, I'm going to synchronize the file. So what this does is it would update the cloud central model with the changes that I've made and we'd like to see how that comes through on the other user's computer after it's been synchronized you've successfully synchronized now let's go and have a look at the other computer there's our Revit. We've opened Revit. We would like to update this with the latest model information. That's already been set to a realistic style. So it should just update with the new floor, hopefully. This is in phase B. Let's have a look at our computer over here. This is also in phase, that's in phase A. Alright, so let's just have a look. It shows all and it's in phase A.
There we go. So it's going through with the color, but not the image. Alright, so in that case, let's try something like this. Let's go to the, so this is part of the other information that I referred to in the blog. If you go to your options, and you go to your rendering paths that you can add. So you can point to your image library in order these docs, micrographics cloud, Kobe2023, architect2, there should be an image library and within this image library there are images so I'm going to open that path and I'm going to say OK which is out to shaded and back to realistic. It's going to have a look at that material inside its properties. That's the herringbone material. It's saying that the image is still missing. That's a pity. Synchronize this file again. Close it down and open it up. Alright, and so after we close it down and open the file up again, there we see that it's finding the image. So that's very good news for us. You can now have your materials operate on your cloud models. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on using your materials in the cloud. Until next time, enjoy Revit!